everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is Mel this is Mel Smokes and today I'm going to be showing my haul from the creative craft show so I hope you guys enjoy today's video so hi everyone and welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all very well today i'm going to be sharing the haul that i got from the creative craft show so the creative craft show was held at the excel it was held on the april 1st and april 2nd i went on the friday which is the april 1st um i went on the friday rather than on saturday because i think that the saturday was going to be miles 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 busy and um i think i just wanted to go on the friday just so i can actually have kind of room to move around um so by the time i got there it's probably about midday and it closed at four so i actually got in a quite a few couple of hours just to go around go around all the stores they had a mix of lots of kind of haberdashery material stores i know the one at alexandra palace they didn't really have a lot of kind of um, sewing stalls or kind of material stalls or kind of haberdashery stalls but at this one they actually had um, more of the material sewing haberdashery buttons lace that sort of thing they had loads of that at this um, craft show and they had quite a small amount of paper crafting stalls i thought well for me as a paper crafter i thought oh no there's probably not going to be that many um paper craft stores that are actually going to be there but i actually found that i actually was going around all the stores and just picking up bits that i'd like to see and buy and then just having a look i actually got quite a few things actually um i would say i would say a more bigger haul at this one than i did at the alexandra palace one but i you know i love both events and i think this is probably the first time in quite a few years that i've actually been to the creative craft um show so it's actually quite nice to be at the excel i normally go to the excel for um mcm comic con and things like that um but this time um it was just for the creative craft show which i was really excited about so i'm actually going to show you my haul um i've bought quite a few things from quite a few different brands so i'll just show you some of the smaller items that i got until i wouldn't say the bigger items but the kind of more numerous items from a couple of the stores what i'll do is i'll leave all the links to the stores that i visited at the show and i'll also put the exhibition and the exhibitors list as well if you'd like to check out all um the people that were there at the show during the weekend so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like today's video then please do give this video a like comment and a subscribe and let's get into it so the first items that i got were these stamping blocks now these are from cardio um so what you can do is you if you have smaller elements of um stamps for example like stars and leaves for example then you can actually just use the top end here and you can obviously use the other end as well so it's a double ended um stamping block so this is like the smaller thinner one so again if you have like smaller elements then you can just use both sides which i thought was really cool um sam carcott from mixed up craft actually um bought these at a craft show and i just thought they were really really interesting i just love the shape of them as well and they can fit into your um stamping block box for example so if you have a box that holds all your um, stamp blocks in there then you can actually put them in there because they're quite thin enough and don't take too much room and then i also bought the kind of smaller chunkier one here so again if you have a bigger um, area of the stamps but again you don't want to bring out your stamping platform for example then you can just use these you can just use them both end as well which i think is really really cool so those are the two stamping blocks i got from cardio so these are the bits that I got from TP Cross. I got some lace here and I got some buttons. So I'm just going to show you the buttons first. So these are the two button sets that I got. They were 25p each for per card. So 25p, 25p. And I just decided to get them in this gold colour. They had a lot of pastel colours, mint colours, kind of mixed combination colours as well. But these are the ones that really stood out. So I just got this one, which is the black with the um, gold rim beautiful really really love those and then i got this one which had the gold buttons on there but it just has these kind of small circular details on there which i thought was fab so those are the two button sets that i got they were 25p which i thought was an absolute bargain and then i actually got these gorgeous laces from tp crafts as well they had a box at the end of their store that had all the lace in there so they had like bundles of like lots of whites and beiges this is the only kind of red one that i actually saw which i thought was beautiful so i'm going to show you this gorgeous kind of pattern one this one they didn't have any more of this 
um i just spotted it out of the corner of my eye so i thought oh do you know what i'll just get that it's really really pretty it's got this gorgeous flower detail and it's also got the gorgeous um scallops on the end there as well it's absolutely beautiful so that's really really gorgeous so that is the first one the second one i have is this gorgeous white one which has these kind of triangular patterns on there and it has um the scallops but they're kind of inverted essentially so they like basically look like waves instead absolutely beautiful so i hope you guys can see those i don't know how many meters per roll these were but for a pound each it's really not that bad at all and then we got the red one here as well, which I thought was gorgeous. I think Amber can tie a craft. She actually, for her latest giveaway, because she's asking for flowers and lace, she got this gorgeous red one. Um, I think it's maybe from um, Abby, from Handmade by Abigail. Um, but these are just beautiful. I really, really love the colour. I thought it was gorgeous. So it's just in this maroon colour. So absolutely beautiful. So for a couple of rolls of the lace absolutely beautiful and the buttons as well which i thought was absolutely bargainous so those are the bits that i got from tp crafts the next shop that i had a look at was hot shot crafts so they actually had some hunky dory clearance stuff on sale which i thought i'd have a look so the first set that i've got here is this one so i'm just gonna put this one to the side so this is just um a pack of couple of some of their collections i'm not sure which actually which collection these are from but i've not received i've not got this one before this was six pounds 5.99 this is from the love blossoms card collection by hunky dory uh, I just love the kind of floral patterns as you guys know i love floral so these are really pretty i've probably got enough hunky dory now to settle me for the next couple of years to be fair but i just love the fact that all hunky dory cards are just so easy and quick to put together i really really love that so these got some gorgeous flowers on the front um and lovely lots of sentiments lots of these lovely banners as well love them so pretty and at 5.99 absolutely gorgeous so there's quite a few um bits of card there lots of lovely layers i'm not going to take it all out but um i absolutely think this is beautiful so that is the first set that i got the second set that i got i'll just switch these out for you is the summer splendor from hunky dory as well i'm not sure if i've got this i don't think i have but this is really really pretty absolutely gorgeous i love the colors they're so pretty oh just love the pinks the pinks are just like oh, overtaking me but i really love this it's absolutely beautiful these are some of the colors on the side and this was 11.99 so these are some of the colors that are on there i'm just absolutely obsessed with hunky dory right now just the kind of need to make loads and loads of cards and like fill my house with cards it's just the dream so I think I will start making cards of these, seeing as we're going into spring, summer um, weather now, which I think is really, really fab. So those are the two bits that I got from Hot Shot Crafts. Really good bargains on the store. I didn't, I literally, you just have the need to buy everything, but um, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't resist these two sets. So those are the bits that I got from Hot Shot Crafts. So my next haul is from Gatsby's of Leicester. Now they were just selling bits that are like a pound, uh, very similar to every craft pound when you see them at um, craft shows. It's basically a pound, for, it's like a pound each for an item and then 12 for 10 pound, which is what every craft, um, um, every craft pound used to do. So these have been in my bag for the last two days. That's why they're kind of like trashed in the middle. So I got these two stamp sets. These are from Paper Mania. These are from Freshly Cut Flowers. I just really love the floor elements on there. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is a four by four stamp set. So I got those ones. I also got this one as well. Again, from the same set, Freshly Cut Flowers by Paper Mania. So this is the one with the wreath with love and the lovely little elements on the side there. So again these were a pound each i've got the gems here a pound kind of trash in the middle because they're sitting in my bag but everybody's seen these gems and i also got the bigger ones as well I was just about to put that on top of my root of it it'll fall off so those are the two gems if i just turn this paper around or maybe on this card you'll be able to see them yep so those are the bigger gems and then i've got the smaller gems as well which are so so pretty 
sorry about those rustling um i got this paper this floor paper i just thought it was really really pretty um i don't think i've ever seen this before i'm not sure if it's actually from a set but i thought it was really pretty it's got some blue paper here with the lovely yellow florals and then it has the pink paper here with all the other sets of florals which i thought was really really pretty that was a pound as well and then i also got um some of the five by seven corn i honestly couldn't be bothered to go to the range even though it's a couple of stops from where i was at the excel but i thought i would just get it at the um gatsby's at leicester store it's pretty much kind of similar prices maybe like 50p a pound uh, less but this is 5.95 and they had a really good kind of range there um but this is the size that i needed more of so it's five by seven because i just do like square cards or rectangular cards i've just gotten back into dl cards at the moment like um slimline cards so i'm really excited about getting this card set as well so those are the bits that i got from gatsby's and leicester so the next haul is from Carol's Crafts. Now they had a massive store at the um, craft fair. It was like three stalls long. It was absolutely crazy. They had loads of stuff like stencils, paint materials, um, inks, alcohol inks, everything that you could imagine, wood stuff. It was just crazy and there's loads of people there. So I managed to find my red tape. I think me and Laura had made a joke from Miss Stationery Stuff that uh, I was trying to find red tape. I couldn't find any. Normally when I go to the Alexandra Palace one, I normally find red tape. But um, every cross pound, which is where I normally get the red tape, they weren't there this year. So um, I actually got it from Carol's Crafts instead. So I actually got them in two sizes. So I got them in this one. So I got four of this size. Which is really really good i really do like um red liner tape it's just really good strong tape um i actually use the sticks two tape at the moment because it's just really good and easy to peel off without the plastic st sticking to your hands so i got four of this size and then i got six of this size because it was 10 rolls for five pound which i thought was really really good so i just got it in this thicker size so i hope you guys can see that so got my i finally got my red uh, my red liner tape and then the other haul that i got from cow's cross with these so um cow's cross they basically had if you got three of these items they were three pound oh sorry they were three for a pound and then if you wanted to kind of get more then you can get 20 20 items from the two racks that were there for five pounds i thought you know what, I'm gonna get five pounds worth because it just it's it's more worth the money. So I got some of these safety pins. I'll show you the safety pins first. I'll just move these bits out of the way. I'll just put them in categories so you guys can see. So I actually got these safety pins so you can actually make safety pin decorations. So you can attach bees, chains, links to them. So I got them in two different colours. So I got them in the gold and the silver. So I got those two. So I got those. So those are the double packs that I got. The next ones that I got were these. So these had the flowers. So I got two sets of the flowers, all different sizes. And these are really, really pretty. So I got those two. And then I got these two. So this one's more like of a square one, like a rectangular one. And then these ones were like these circular sphere ones. I thought was really cool as well and um all these um all these beads were attached to these three racks like double-sided and they're all attached with cable ties so you had to pull them off if you wanted them so if you didn't want a particular bead you have to be really sure that you really really want it because you couldn't like throw them down anywhere so um yeah it was a bit it was a bit chaotic because lots of people wanted to have a look and trying to get 20 items especially if you don't need 20 items it's a little bit difficult me and this other lady were trying to count how many we actually had all together because she wanted to get 20 but it's just trying to find out what kind of beads that you like so the next ones i got with these kind of like these kind of like pandora type beads so I got this one. So this is like gold. It has this gorgeous additional bead as well, which is um, red, blue, and white. So I hope you guys can see. And they have these additional kind of um, metal lockets here. So you got this other bead here, and then you got this um, um, heart locket here. 
so i hope you guys can see it's really pretty fellas and um, we've got this one here which has the white and the blue then we've got this blue one then we've got this one that has the white with the florals so i hope you guys can see that apologies for the glare and then we've got this one here which is just plain white but it's got um red decorations on the side so those are really really pretty and then the other ones that i've got my apologies for the rattling so i just got these beads so i just got them in a couple of colors not many um so i've got these ones so i got this one which is this in this gorgeous gold color um then we've got these ones which are in the purple so there's three of these these are quite like heavy and then we've got these ones they're like these purple lilac beads and then we've got these pink ones beautiful like baby pink color then we've got these ones i'm gonna show again this baby pink color and then we've got this one again in a baby pink colour and these are like rounder, smaller and rounder as well. Which I think are really, really lovely. So those are the bits that I got from Carol's Cross. And then the last haul that I'm going to show you is from JJD Cards. So this is the last um, haul from JJD Cards. And they were at the Alexandra Palace show as well. So I thought I'd have a look at their store. I got mostly papers from their um, hunky dory collections and i also got this acorn wood one as well so the first thing i'm going to show you is this purple low tack tape i've actually used purple low, low tack tape but i got it from i want to say crafters companion or maybe another brand but i didn't think it, it wasn't it wasn't good i didn't like it it was way too sticky and for low tack tape it's obviously supposed to have like a limited amount of adhesive on there just to hold your um dies and stuff but i thought i would try this this is 150 and it's a 10 meter roll which i thought was quite a good value for money so i got some low tack tape i then got this which is a stick two i think this is a pickup yes yeah, pickup pencil i've always been fascinated by the ones that look quite like sparkly and have wax on the end of them which i thought was quite cool but i got this one it's from sticks two um so all i need to do is just sharpen it at the end so i got a pick up a pencil so i got that um i got acorn wood which is by hunky dory i just really love the animals on here i just thought they're so cute this is 1050 um and this is from the mac collection which i thought was so cute but they've got these cool just like um little creatures on them so they've got like animals and stuff like that which i thought was fab i really love the colors as well kind of like pasty colors which i thought was really really cute so i got the acorn wood one which i thought was really sweet and then the two papers that i got were from the pattern packs the adorable small wall by um hunky dory so i got this first one which i thought was so pretty has this gorgeous pattern on the front these are like 7.99 each so they just have this gorgeous kind of chevron pattern on the front it has these gorgeous floors it's just mixed in with the black it looks like black and gold and these are the patterns here on the front so you've got the chevron pattern you've got the floral pattern you've got another floral pattern with the darker background then you've got the darker background with the floral patterns on there then you've got all the lighter colours, so you've got the white with the florals, and then you've got these mix of these watercolour um, um, papers as well, and then you've got this last one here that's really brightly coloured. Absolutely gorgeous. It has 24, 24 sheets, and you get three sheets of each design, which I thought was really, really good. So I got the adorable scrollboard in this beautiful colour. And then I got this one here, which has this gorgeous, um, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, 24 sheets. This is called the Sweet Secrets one. And this has this kind of like old feel. I just love the kind of patterns on them. It just has these gorgeous kind of vintage shabby sheet patterns on them. And I just love the colours. So you had like the mix of the purples, the blues, the oranges here. Got lots of the mix of the multicolors between the yellows, the greens, 
um some of the browns as well they just look absolutely gorgeous and i love the um, example that they've shown here it's really really beautiful so i just love those patterns and that's what one of them looks like on the other side which i thought was really pretty and then on the other side of this one i had this pattern which again i just absolutely love these would be really good if you're just creating a basic card and you just want to chop the card up for example and then just put a simple tim holt sentiment on the front of it or a hunky dory sentiment on the front of it it just sets the card off and then you can just place um you can just place um enamel dots or um, nouveau drops for example and it will just bring out the card i just love the kind of simple way to kind of make cards or projects with these these are absolutely beautiful so these are from jjd cards and that is my final haul from the creative craft show so that is my haul from the Creative Craft Show. I'll leave all the links to the stores that I visited on the day in the box below. I'll also leave the exhibitors list as well in the box below as well from the show. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the items or going to the show in other areas of the UK, then I'll leave those links in the box below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please do give this video a like, comment and a subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.